Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about Notebook Alarm. Tips and tricks that will improve your experience. Now before we get started, I just want to let you know that I have a video regarding this exact profile, or exact website, or rather, exact Notebook Alarm before. However, for this one, it has been upgraded to Gemini 2.0. So please preview that one and have a look at it before we moving on with this one. Anyway, without further ado, just use your dummy Google account and simply click on Try Notebook LM. Inside that, you can upload your resources, instant insights, see the source, not just the answer, listen and learn on the go. Basically, it's gonna be your Notebook LM. So I'll see you once inside, right? Perfect. Welcome back to the video. So this is gonna be what's inside Notebook LM. It looks like a notepad. Basically, as the name suggests, it's gonna be your best friend. Now, without further ado, if you click on settings right here, you can change your light mode or dark mode. I always suggest going on dark mode because light mode is really hurtful in the eyes. Anyway, I'm going to click on here, create new. You'll see right here I have my previous notebooks that I've created. You can filter them by choosing most recent title or shared with me. Anyway, I'm going to click create new right there and it will open up this black notepad. Up front, it will ask me for uploading my resources. So to get started with this one, I'm going to upload some resources, which is going to be a sample recording. If these are recordings on my presentation, just randomly saying the presentation about global warming. So I've uploaded successfully three audio file right there. Before I continue on generating the prompt here, you'll see right there. All right. I want to highlight this one. Notebook LM already knows the topic of my audio files. I did not do anything just yet. I did not enter some prompt. I did not type anything. You saw it in real time. Without doing anything, just uploading your document, may it be the audio file, mp3, word document, etc. Notebook LM will really read it. And basically that's it. It ha also has some subcategory or subtopic in here. Anyway, before we get started on prompting, let's discuss the features here. So on the left side, you're going to get your panel on your resources. You can select them. Deselect them by your choosing. On the right side, the studio basically is your audio preview. So it's going to be your audio since you have uploaded some MP3 or some audio files. You can customize or generate depending, of course, on your liking. So your notes, you can add note here, study the guide, briefing document, timeline, and frequently asked questions. On the upper section, you can click on Share and Settings, which is going to be the previous example from earlier. Now, under here, which is my favorite, the chat. Again, I'm still amazed that this has been coming up without even doing anything. It even has a fire emoji. So under here, you can save the note. You can copy the context. You can add note, add overview, or briefing document. Prompt right here, you can have some suggestive prompt if you're not really familiar with how it works. You can have three resources since you have uploaded three right here. Now, since I have my um, resources right there, I'm going to upload this one. I have a sample prompt to use here. So that will be analyze this audio recordings of my presentation and provide a detailed evaluation of my public speaking skills. Now, I'm going to click on enter with this one. Notice that it's just like ChatGPT or any other AI. Upload some resources and talk about it. Anyway, at Notebook LM is a bit more advanced. So without further ado, these are going to be the results. So we have definition of global warming, causes of global warming, and impacts of global warming. And to evaluate your public speaking skills, it's formations such as tone, pace, clarity, and use of body languages will need to be considered, but this is not available in the source material. That means, since my source material is only an audio file, since it doesn't have that public speaking visual um, aids on that one's not a video. It's not an mp4. It can only read what's inside the audio and Trust me that is a lot Even clicking on these numbers right here gives you citations Which is on the specific source code As you can see right here, you have that one this one right here the sources that I have been used now Let's try some more prompt here. I'm gonna add some second one So act as my public speaking coaches and give me constructive feedback regarding my public speaking from this audio files, of course, and there we have it. So the audio recordings focus on the content of your presentation about global warming. So the provided audio 
um, covers the following. And then to provide your feedback, I would need information about your tone, pace, clarity, use of pauses by the language, which are not really captured in the audio recordings. So, Notebook LM is letting me know that via MP3 or audio recordings, it cannot really capture those kinds of um, notes since it needs the MP4. So for now, we're going to sell this for this one since it's already good enough because, come on, it read that file. It gives you this constructive feedback already. Pretty awesome, right? Now let's talk about this right here. Now before I get into it, I want to try the samples. So I have some sample questions here based on my audio files. So if I click on that one, what are the two impacts of global warming on this planet? This are going to be it. Now I'm going to try this one right now, the audio overview. You can generate basing that creates a podcast on your topic. But for now, I'm going to click on customize here. Again, I'm going to use the same prompt. So that would be Academy's public speaking coaches. Click generate for that one. And this will take a few minutes. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be a result before I play it. 30 dots right here gives the option to download, change the playback speed or delete. This right here gives you the option to share. Now let's all listen to it for a few seconds. Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready for another deep dive? Always ready. So today's a little different. Um, oh. It is, it is, yeah. We're kind of flipping the script. Usually we're digging into some fascinating topic. Right, right. But this time... We're the topic. Well, not exactly. Okay. You sent in some audio, remember? Ah, the public speaking clips. Exactly. <laughs> Those were going to be your public speaking coaches today. I like it. Yeah. So basically, Wait, feedback, of, offer some pointers. Yep, exactly. We'll listen to those clips, the three you send over about global warming, the right? Change, yeah. yeah. All that. And uh, we'll give you some feedback, some tips and tricks, help you become an even better speaker. Love. All right. So I'm going to pause it right there because I want to try another example. And basically, this is how you do it if you're using MP3 or audio files. Now let me just go back on the main page right here because I want to create a new one. So with this one right here, I'm going to choose a file. Now before I get into it, I almost forgot to show you this one. Now for this, I search up digital marketing strategy PDF and I come across this notebooks. So I just simply downloaded them and we're going to use them as resources to our example. Perfect. Welcome back to the website and for this one, I'm just going to simply download this two right here. Now without further ado, while they're downloading, You'll see right here that it's currently reading the title. This is the part where I'm always amazed. There we have it. It suddenly has a title. It read the files. Notebook LM came up with the title. I'm really amazed at that one. It even gave out that emoji. Alright? So I have a prompt ready for him here that would be analyzed as books. Place it right there and make sure everything is spelled correctly. So essential themes here. I think this should be good. So books right there. Click on enter. So this will not take a few minutes. I think it only five to ten seconds. So I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. This is quite a long response. So basically, the two resources provide offer a complementary perspective on digital marketing strategy. So the, it got it right. With the first geared towards a more basic understanding, and the second dwelling into intermediate level optimization. So here's a summary, we have the source 1, I love how he indicates source 1, and then source 2 right here, it clearly indicates it, so we don't get mixed up. Now since I have this example, I can really save the note for this one, to make sure I can look it later on. Now I have some notes here basically, I'm gonna answer a prompt that says, based on these books provide me with the actionable strategies for learning about these books. So click on that one, it's asking me, or I'm asking it, to give me some pointers on how to learn these books basically on a very basic level. And there we have it. So, basically it gave me an answer to effectively learn about the content of these digital marketing strategies, consider these actionable strategies, so structured reading and note-taking, focus on actionable insights, and so on and so forth. By following these steps, you can turn the information on these resources into a practical working knowledge, of digital marketing. I'm gonna see if the note right that, kick that like button for improvement, good response, and I love it. By the way guys, there is a button here, refresh makes Lee cleans up your chat. If you want to start over, you don't have to go to home and basically start a new notebook. You can just simply click on refresh here and you'll be good to go. 
Now with this, I'm not gonna create a podcast, but I'm gonna create a frequently asked questions. So welcome back to the video. This is our frequently asked questions on the right side. And there we have it. It's gonna be easy as that. You can convert to a source here, depending on your um, perspective. But for now, let's try another example. Now for your samples, let's talk about sample journals. Sample journals about digital marketing. I'm just gonna look for one here. I'll get back to you once they're here. So welcome back to the video. I have right here some journals regarding digital marketing. Because right here we have done PDF, right? For now, let's focus on journals. So I'm just gonna download everything here. And I'll go back to website. I'll see you over there, okay? So welcome back to the video. Right this one, I have two files here. And this is still the same topic, but right now they're journals rather than just PDFs. So this is going to be digital and social media marketing, a research review. Now, I just want to take note something here. If you have uploaded the PDF for the first one, you cannot really upload a different file type. So you need to be consistent on everything you have downloaded. Take note about that one. Also, guys, you can rename the source here. For example, I'm going to name this one tutorial box. Click save. So the first source right there will be named tutorial box. I'm going to name this one sample. So I have my sources as sample and tutorial box. So let's dwell on this one. So let's ask everything you want here. Let me just remove those websites. So I ask what ethical dilemmas arise from digital marketing use of AI. And these are going to be the results. One more here because I just want to build some conversation here because I want to show you something important later on. I'm just building, throwing some random questions, some suggested questions right there. And you'll see why in a few seconds. So I think this should be a good enough timeline. I'm going to do one more. I'm building conversation here, stacking answer up questions and answers. So I think this should be good enough. And basically, if I have my answers here, I'm going to click timeline. So we have tried the FAQs, the podcast right here. We're focusing now on timeline. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be the timeline of what we have here. So here's a detailed timeline and cast characters based on the provided resources. This was made because of our conversation. All right, so it's going to be a timeline. Again, you can convert this to a source. As you can see right there, it has been uploaded as a source material. And what I can do here, I can ask some new questions on these three sources. For example, what are the important key points? Let me just correct that one. Key points on these materials. Basically, I'm asking everything here. It just not focuses on those two right here, which is I really love about Modbook LM. I can directly upload everything as a source material. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be the new answer we have based on the three sources. We have this very comprehensive answer. So let's try one last example here. It's just basically the same process here. Let me just save everything first. Now, since we have covered FAQs, we have covered most of them. Let's try another feature and I'll get back to you once I'm done here and add the website. All right, so let me just upload the photos and the PDFs I have. I think I have more than five here. Let me just make sure everything is about intermittent fasting. I think this should be good enough. I have four now and everything is residing on intermittent fasting. That will be intermittent fasting blueprint. So let's have some fun here. Now, basically, our topic is intermittent fasting based on our resources. I'm just going to type in here, based on the sources, how can I achieve intermittent fasting? I would be intermittent fasting quickly. Let me just spell it out. And just, it's just like talking to an AI, just talking to a person. And I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be the results. Let me just try creating a study guide for this one. Since we have covered mostly of this one and I'm going to create the briefing document on the later part of the video, or let's just wait for this one to finish and I'll create that briefing document. Anyway, this is going to be the comprehensive guide. You can add this as a source to add up to your material and then add the briefing document. You see what I'm going with this? I'm stocking my task upon each other task. So you don't have to stop. It's always a moving forward action inside Notebook LM. It's always continuous learning. Let me just finish this one. I'll get back to you once it's here. Perfect. Welcome back to the video. So this is going to be another example, mainly focusing on the briefing document. And I think they're basically the same as the one from earlier. 
However, this is going to be the study guide. And this is going to be a briefing document. Anyway, that's going to be depending on your perspective. You can add some more resources here. For example, you're in a meeting and you have recorded the meeting of the minutes or minutes of the meeting. You can simply upload them here and have notebook LM take note of the meeting, come up with some ideas regarding the meeting and have fun with that one. So the bottom line, notebook LM is your best friend. Notebook LM will help you throughout your administration task and your job requirement. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.